Pop a squat. Come at ya. See, a little quieter today. I paid attention to... Oh, actually, you know what's funny is... Uh, I did a video yesterday, uh, a Tupac video, and of course, I hadn't even thought of it, it got a copyright notice and so it's not visible, blah blah blah, so it'll show up in a couple of days and I'll remind people when it, when it shows up, although I'm fairly certain it's probably going to get a lot of views anyway, just simply because it's Tupac. Uh, it will have zero to do with me doing the reaction, uh, and it will have everything to do with Tupac. Um, but anyway, uh, as soon as that appears on the site, I will let you guys know. Uh, I usually get some sort of notification that it's um, gone through, and if not, I check the site every day multiple times, and I'm sure I'll see it. Uh, today we're going to listen to a song that uh, somebody recommended just recently. Uh, I'm trying to think. It might have been on a Bone Thugs uh, video that I did, um, but... Uh, I could be wrong about that. And anyway, uh, they had recommended doing a song by a band, I, or a group, I have never heard of called House of Crazies. Uh, I kind of assume from the name that it's sort of a, uh, oh, darn it, uh, Insane Clown Posse sort of group. Uh, it has kind of a, a clowny aesthetic, but horror clowns. And actually, I'm one of the weird people who likes clowns. Uh, I, my room <laughs> when I was a kid was decorated in clowns, uh, so I don't have, like, this weird, like, ah, clowns are creepy! Uh, when they look creepy, like, super creepy, yeah, then they're creepy, but, uh, I don't have, I don't have that clown thing. I, I, I like clowns, uh, but I also like comedy and yada yada yada. Uh, so House of Crazies is an American hip-hop group formed in 1992 in Detroit, Michigan. They are most associated with the horrorcore subgenre. Uh, and I should say also right off the bat, I am not a horror fan. I'm not a Saw fan, like torture porn sort of thing. I'm not into that. Um, I like anything that's clever, uh, but and I, I think the idea of Saw is clever, but I would never want to watch one of those movies. It's just not something I'm into. Um, the group consists of rappers The, the Rock, R-O-C. Uh, I don't know if it's pronounced The Rock or the ROC, uh, Mr. Bones, I actually kind of wonder if he's named after the comic book character Mr. Bones, uh, from Infinity Incorporated and now the head of the DEO, Geek, um, and Hectic, so The Rock, or the ROC, Mr. Bones, and Hectic, uh, the latter of which also performed as a duo, uh, the latter of which, the latter two, uh, also performed as a duo under the name Twisted, uh, I've heard of Twisted too. Uh, after a lineup change and a 14-year breakup, the original lineup reformed in 2013 and is currently signed with Magic Ninja Entertainment. Um, so, yeah, a group that's been around for quite a while, 1992, that's, I mean, 30 years as of this year. My cat is biting me again because it's, it's not even the normal time. I think it's because I have this microphone out and I'm doing this and he wants to bite me. Um... So we're going to listen to a song by them that was released... Oh, I actually don't know when this song came out. Oh, stop biting me, cat. Um, but it is called... It's right here. Um, House of Crazy's Ghost. The Casket Cuts. Um, so again, you can kind of see the aesthetic they've got going here with the hockey mask... Uh, kind of ghosty, creepy, uh, dirty, rusty, um, horror movie type theme going on. Uh, I do think it's a little weird that the, the, the white, uh, things here kind of make it looks like a Ku Klux Klan, uh, mask. Uh, I'm sure that wasn't intentional, at least I hope it wasn't intentional. Um, also just kind of looks like a ghost. Uh, and really, as a, as a visual image, uh, a visual image? As an image, this is actually kind of a cool one. I, I think it's actually kind of neat looking. Um, yes, you are very mean to me. You are biting me. Um, and uh, so we're going to give this a listen. I've, uh, I did listen to a few minutes of this, not a minute, a few seconds of this, just to see if I wanted to listen to the whole thing. Because uh, like I said, I'm not generally a, a horror fan, and I kind of 
was worried that this was going to be like super dark and icky and it wouldn't appeal to me and I would be doing it a disservice to people who actually are fans of this music. Um, and I have no interest in doing that. I'm, I'm a big believer of in, of like what you're going to like and don't crap on other people's stuff. So, uh, you will notice for the most part, when I react to things, I tend to be pretty positive because if, if I'm going to be super negative, for one, I'll balance it out with some positive things because I think any anything that we listen to here, there's going to be aspects of it that I think are really remarkable. Um, and, and that's proven to be the case. And, and that's honestly, it surprised me. Uh, I've listened to over 400 songs now uh, and, and posted the videos and it's, it's stunning uh, how much variety there is and how much creativity there is and how much musicianship and, and talent and skill there is out there just in this uh you know rap slash hip-hop genre i guess it would just be hip-hop genre uh which encompasses so much music uh but let's let's jump in here this is house of crazies uh casket cuts must be the album i think uh with the song ghost just about five minutes So, right off the bat, uh, it just sounds like a hip-hop song. Uh, there's nothing here that makes it creepy, other than maybe it has that boom, boom, boom going on in the it, kind of underneath the music that just comes through very consistently and gives you kind of a... Uh, nervous making sort of energy or like an ominous kind of presence uh but otherwise i think the music's actually really kind of cool Seems a little distorted. Ah, uh, there we go. So it's about stabbing somebody in the stomach or a woman in the stomach. And, yeah, you know, violence towards women is always fun. Um, and, uh... But again, the music is fine, and this is um, this is fantasy, right? Like this is not—they're not actually talking about let's go out and stab people. Um, this sort of music can potentially be dangerous when people who are not so balanced get exposed to it, and they think, "Oh, I'm not the only one who thinks like this." But I'm not one of those people who's like, "Ban it, ban it!" No, that's just stupid. Um, it's not the music's fault; it's the person who does the bad stuff's fault. Um, and so far, I'm liking this, and I think the the rapping is good. Uh, let's go. I like those little breaks. That was cool. I'm going to back up more. I like that. Okay, I really like that transition right there that we just went into. But this section where it was like, you know, like really distorted and almost like it's through, I don't even know, through water, but not through water. Um, I kind of think it's, <laughs> this is going to sound bad. I kind of think that's a cheap tactic because we're programmed to react to things that sound like that that sound disturbing uh in a certain way and they're using that to kind of get us to feel that it's not just it's not just the music that's pulling it out of us it's the it or really it's not the music that we're giving it up to right they're pulling that reaction out of us 
with that sound uh and it's and it is disturbing it's supposed to be disturbing and and i think it's effective i just don't care for it if that makes any sense and i and i don't say that to like insult anybody's musical tastes that's just my own opinion um but i really like this transition i think i already backed up a little bit so let's let's pay attention to the transition more than what the this uh, kind of like uh, well, i don't know why i think of it as like underwater sound this underwater rapping uh but listen to the transition after they finish it that is really nice And I think maybe if I had the lyrics up in front of me, it might be a little bit better because I could read through them as we're going and understand them better. Um, but again, I, I don't mind the music. I think the music is really good. It's just kind of the overall vibe just doesn't appeal to me. <laughs> this is uh super clear uh, like what was that four words super clear super easy to understand really nice uh uh just like timber to the voice like it comes through super clearly uh and i i like it uh and i thought the transition was good there too they, they actually have really good transitions from one section of the song to the next um yes cat you leave the microphone alone please um and uh yeah i'm looking forward to this next part Contemplation of murder It's like you turn monsters Ready to exist with the flick of my wrist Tail sails dangled in my head The lava dead Why spread across the cops Feeling is being red Love it They're gonna have to kill us We're gonna kill them first Let's do this Pop up, gather my pistols Pick up some rope Set for my coat My mind so With thoughts of clothes And daggers Being lunged at me Okay, if you're a fan of this music, if you know this music, let me know who this guy is, because I really, I like him. So I didn't catch all the lyrics there, and I can't tell if they're three things. If they're being sarcastic and talking about grabbing their rope and going to hang people, or if they're saying that that's what they actually want to do, or if they're poking fun at people who say things like that. 
Uh, I'm definitely not on board if they're saying, let's go do that. I highly doubt that's what they're saying. Uh, and, and if it is, I wouldn't play this because I'm not going to encourage something like that. Um, but yeah, it, it's interesting. Man, I like that other guy. I want that other guy to rap the whole time. Is really, is really all I keep thinking. It was really good. Hey, Paul, trying to kill them all. My stomach's kind of cramping, y'all. Got hit by slap, no. Moving my black ass quick. Boom, hit shots, hitting the mouth. Damn, I'm blacking out. Okay, so they must, they must be black. Too late, I hear him coming. Running what's left. Last dance with the angels. God, I stand before you blessed. For you blessed. Alright, I'm stopping there because the song is going to end like in one second. Um, and I don't want it to go to an ad or whatever. Uh, it's good. Uh, I mean, overall, I know I had some things that, to say that were not particularly complimentary. Um, I am actually going to look these guys up right now to see if I can find an image of them. House of Crazies. Uh, House of Crazies. Uh, because I'm curious uh, as to what they actually look like. Let's find images. I'm sure these are going to be lovely. All right, so I don't know if that's them or not. Um, is this them? Yeah, so it looks like they're, they're some people of color. I see one guy there. I can clearly see the other two look like they have some makeup on. Um, so that's fine. So I totally understand the, the, the KKK references and the... the lynching references and things like that it's like throw it back on their faces and 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 I, I i don't even i don't know what their intention was but uh they can say that i don't have a problem with that if this were three white guys who were rapping about lynching people I, yeah i wouldn't be on for that um interesting is what i'll say uh not not actually what I expected because I thought the music in general was pretty good uh, and and kind of creative, like very creative and interesting. Uh, just not my type of music. Uh, and, and I'm sure that's true of Insane Cl Clown Posse too. Um, I would listen to more. I absolutely would. Uh, mostly because I want to see more of the kind of experimental stuff that they did in this uh, and see what they do on other tracks because I bet they actually come up with some really cool sounding stuff. Um, and, and if you've got stuff like that, send it along, whether it's House of Crazies or even Insane Clown Posse or somebody like that because believe me, I haven't heard any Insane Clown Posse either. Um, yeah, uh, it, interesting. I, could, I can absolutely see why people like this. Everybody has different tastes, right? Like this just isn't my taste. But I can see why why people would like it and why they would think it would be fun and kind of awesome. Um, yeah, there you go. It's, I liked it. Thank you for the recommendation. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry I don't like it more. Uh, it's just not my type of music, and I knew it wasn't going to be. So this this does not surprise me, and hopefully it doesn't surprise you. I'm glad you like it. Uh, thanks for the recommendation. Send me some more. I have so many to do. Uh, I should actually probably stop asking for recommendations, even though I know people just throw them up there because they're like, oh, you need to listen to this, and they're excited about it. And that's that's why I like to get recommendations, is because people are excited about the music. That means there's, there's going to be something worthwhile there, right? Um, so yeah, looking forward to this. Uh, I will remind you when the Tupac video comes up, I actually talk a bunch in that one, um, but I did like the video. And uh, yeah, there you go. Pop Scott! Please like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, it is fun to go and see what everybody, or how many followers I have. Love to see people's comments. Uh, I try to respond to people, even if you recommend songs. I'll either give you a thumbs up, or I'll give you a add it to the list, or, you know, reply to a comment. I've uh, been getting quite a lot of comments lately, and uh, it's, it's kind of fun. I, I live here alone with my kitty cat, so I have time during the day to kind of look at what's going on and, and respond to people. Uh, thanks very much. I hope you like this. If you did, go check out more of their stuff. If you didn't, 
don't check out more of their stuff or or do and see if there's anything else that appeals to you uh i thought some of this was actually quite good and i'm really curious about that um the guy who was in the the back half of the song who was rapping because i thought he had a really good voice uh love to hear more about him uh have a good night